What's up my people, how on a day waiting they happen waiting they sub, welcome back to our channel. Okay guys, update, you know, about the account, the UBA account. Currently we have over 671,000 Naira in the account. We intend using part of that for school bags. You know, of course we're still requesting for donations. So please donate. I said in the previous video that like, I need time for my life, my personal life. Maybe next month, I don't know, but I'll see what I can do this month about the hospital. Um, because I just have a feeling that somebody needs help, you know, in the public hospital. So uh, we might, do that this month i don't know maybe ending of this month depends or early next month and after that we do the school bags for the kids uh, most of you that's been following this channel knows what i'm talking about and also in the dollar account we also have a dollar account meant for the gofundme money currently we have over 262 dollars in the dollar account this is um separate from the 671 000 naira and again we have um, 20,000 naira to give to beggars on the street um, those begging for arms and yes I was able to put a smile on their faces because um, the person that sent the 20,000 naira wants me to give them it's up to me he said it's up to me either 500 naira or 1,000 naira but yeah I decided to give 1,000 naira so currently we have 17,000 naira anytime any time I go out I just put a couple of cash in my wallet so I can give and also show proof of that all right, guys, don't forget, keep the donations coming. At least let's hit 1 million naira. But yeah, like I said, before the end of this month or early next month, we should visit hospitals and pay for bills. Thank you for the donations. Um, thank you. It means a lot. And I'm sure those people uh, that benefiting from this are really, really happy. Okay, guys, let's move straight to today's news. Here we've got news about Whiskey. Whiskey again, this is officially Whiskey's year. I said it. Whiskey Thames Essence made in Lagos. Congratulations to all of you, living things and non living things. You guys are doing an amazing job. Thames, especially though. Whiskey equal African legend. Angelique Joe, 1992 record on Billboard chart. Her 1992 album looked Gozo, which is her longest charting album on World Billboard Albums chart, has been equal by Whiskey Made in Lagos, 47 weeks each for both albums, picked number one. Woo, Whiskey, shout out to you. Moving on to the next one, here we've got the Ghanaian musician. Sefa is her name. She said David Doe is an ordinary artist in South Africa. Yes, we know, but it's a big artist in Nigeria. <laughs> it's very big in Africa generally, right? But we're going to read exactly what she said, but the report says South Africans see David Doe as a normal artist, unlike in Ghana, because she's from Ghana, right? Where he is received with so much euphoria and ecstasy. That's what she said. Sorry, not just Davido, Whiskey as well. These are guys that are huge in Africa, right? In our words, Davido and Focalistic had a show in South Africa at which I also performed. South Africans are more into Ama Piano. So they played Ama Piano songs throughout. No Ghanaian or Nigerian songs were played there. And do you know the surprising part? The surprising part is that even when Davido came on stage, people were singing and everything, but it wasn't with the kind of euphoria you would normally witness from his fans in Ghana when he performs here but they, they were still excited so what is the surprising thing <laughs> yeah people might go crazy in ghana the energy might be different but they're still excited though so what she's trying to say is that africans appreciate their own so Ghanaians don't appreciate their own i've said it multiple times i think 
they should also work on their craft. We do Afrobeat. What do they do in Ghana? If you think about it, reggae, dancehall, we've done that in the past and we have songs like that. In fact, our Afrobeat artists can still do that. So it's about finding your own niche. That's what I think. But yeah, Ghanaian artists irrespective are doing well, they're trying. Moving on to the next one. Here is a guy who looks like Hush Puppy and I don't think he's really cool with that. Although he finds it funny, but at the same time, I mean, Hush Puppy is in jail. The report says um, the man is still in jail. Anytime I go to new places, people think I'm Hush Puppy. Is that what he's trying to say? Uh, yeah. And he says here, yeah, me wear not even fit by Gucci shoe. <laughs> Look at this picture. Do you think this guy looks like Osh Poppy? Moving on to the next news, guys. I just stumbled on this video. Nigerian man versus Italian police. Funny, isn't it? But not funny. Yeah, eventually, because he is going to jail. Let's watch. Okay, guys, another news uh, that I stumbled on recently. This is the girl that came to my house to steal our panties. So what, what, is she, what is she gonna do with the panties? Now, I understand, guys, of course, we've heard that they use panties. They use it for money ritual. But why would a girl want another girl's panties to wear or what? I don't understand. Or maybe for ritual. I don't know. This is serious, so why did you collect the pants then? Those pants is not gonna enter you. Why did you collect them? Christmas don't reach. Now for Yahoo boys, now for Benz, now ritual, which one? Because I wanted to take it lightly, but I heard that you were lying, that they, the pants were, were dropping pants and uh, water on your head. That's why you collect pants, they drop water for your head, you carry and they go house. How many times have you been stealing? She not even say sorry. See the person where they beg for her here. Were you not the one begging for her? Go down. They say me you go down first. Next one right here. Lady apologizes to her parents after video of her giving blowjob to men in a club went viral. So this happened in Ghana. And she came on social media to apologize. Yes, I didn't watch the video, but I, even though I have the opportunity to, it's crazy according to some comments. You know, she's wild and seems like she's been doing it for a while, for a long time. But guys, that is crazy. I mean, can you imagine? as a mom or parent seeing your kid doing that online not good enough let us watch her apology video i'm sorry mom and dad i'm very very sorry i didn't know this video would trend like that sorry everyone i'm very very sorry okay guys moving on to the next news uh, guys I don't know, this alcohol challenge, I'm sure most of you know what I'm talking about if you're conversant with what is going on on social media. This thing has become a trend, like, I don't know, they call it alcohol challenge. And it has become something else on social media, people using food stuff. Now that it's even difficult or hard to get food stuff, some people even die these days just because there's no food. You'll be shocked, poverty kills in nigeria it's even hard in nigeria to survive and this is especially ladies think that is a perfect time to do something like this for me i just feel like this is insensitive they're just insensitive about what is going on in the society like people are dying and you're wasting food it's crazy though but another thing i want to say is do you notice i, I don't know just start paying attention to that females are the ones doing this most of them are females i've seen 
couple of guys, you know, a few guys done it, but females, why? And this is not because I'm a guy, it's a fact. A lot of them. The 15 minutes fame thing seems like it's actually for the females. You know, because it's like everybody, especially females, just want this attention and they're doing crazy things on TikTok um, or on Instagram these days. And I don't know, it wasn't like this four years, five years ago. If you like, fine. Get money. Get money past Dangote. If you're prick, no big, I go sit it on you. Even if you can't be, if you know Sabi you Zangwell, I go stitch it on you. Mm, I mean, It's becoming crazy. I mean, what is all this? The lady we use Eba, you know, for our video, our alcohol challenge, you know, Eba or Gary, whatever you want to call it, came out to blast those dragging her, to defend her action. She said, stop dragging my name in the mud. I only did a TikTok video. And if you think about it, she's got a point. She only did a TikTok video. Is her money, is her food, right? But at the same time, ask yourself this question, like, does it make sense? Let's watch. The TikTok video I've been through. I don't understand why bloggers don't carry and they talk and know that story. What's all this now? Why are people, why are people try, trying to drag my name to the mud? What's all this nonsense for? Can't somebody do videos again? I don't understand. Why when I call the carry my name, they drag her for another thing? I've been seeing a lot of bloggers carrying rubbish about me. I don't understand this nonsense. People should stop it. People should stop it. In the name of God, stop it. I only did it. Still the same girl, the same girl who came on social media. That's why I, immediately I saw this video, I knew it wasn't true. I just felt it in my gut. I searched online, right, about this video. And I discovered that it was the same girl who um, blasted those who attacked her on social media for doing that alcohol challenge, right? It's, it was, it's the same girl. Some people don't know. It's the same girl who came on social media to say, oh, you know, that video was quote-unquote meant for her ex right which is i think is not true she just wanted to trend right she finally did got the attention in that video she said that she slept with the guy's dad as a payback for dumping her john john i did your papa has right now. you break my heart you say you go free like that i fuck your papa I don't know house right now. See ya. See that statue in the house. I do your house. I even tie your toe. <laughs> hey, your papa sits there. You break my heart. I fuck your father. We move. I still find it hard to believe that this has become a huge thing especially you know just come out and saying stuff without thinking <laughs> okay guys speaking about um the attention seeking syndrome here we've got tega right remember tega posted yesterday before she deactivated her account she says i'm not perfect but i'm done done with the negativity done with the online bullying done with being judged constantly and here is a lady who replied that she said you behave abominably as a married woman on national tv and the arrogance you showed on the topic claiming scripts and possible influence after the show pay attention to this this lady's got a point I'm sorry about what is happening to her, but she's got a point. She said, after the show, it's about how you handle it. How you handle stuff is more important. It's not that you can't make a mistake. You're a human being. You can make a mistake. But how you're able to realize that is a mistake is the most important thing, not what you did. So that is what she got wrong. And that's what's affecting her. How she handled it after the show after she was evicted let's continue what did you expect you think people would accept that behavior and say nothing you can't be done accepting the telling off from people until they forgive you 
be humble now that part is the people everybody can forgive you i disagree with that part but you know my point is still clear about tega people can't for everybody can't forgive you right be humble um be um, big brother um ought to highlight exemplary behaviors and yours was pretty shameful even your husband has lost respect marrying someone as tacky and disrespectful as you your partner um, in the house obviously has no value for marriage or for you show some shame if you have any well i think she's a little bit hard on her and yeah like i said earlier i think she feel the trolling hence the negative comments towards her now another lady came out countered that you know supported her for doing that and you know what she was trying to say in this video we're gonna watch it but what she was trying to say is oh you know uh, let's uh you guys are hypocrites um the husband are forgiving her he came on national tv to say they forgive if he's forgiving her and stuff like that what is a problem it's none of our business whatever but people will talk irrespective and people like to see something like that you misbehaving on social media and you put yourself at their mercy and that's why they were able to play you like football i'm talking about you know tega this is social media people will never stop talking this has nothing to do with being a male or female before because she was trying to like you know talk about double standard here it has nothing to do with that uh, I've got my reason because I like backing it up with something. When Finn told Tony, you know, got into the house, a married man, right? Kissed, caressed, the smooch, uh, um, bisola, right? He got blasted for it. But you know what happened? How he handled it after the house. He apologized immediately and he handled it well. He didn't go about, it was equally dragged on social media, but he didn't go about on social media a line trying to justify what he did or anything he accepted the mystic and they move on he's still with his wife i believe yeah last time i checked he's still with his wife you know they're doing good they have kids together i think two kids i don't know about like now but yeah it's how you're able to handle it huh. nigerians online twitter and instagram warriors a lady an adult Entered a Big Brother Nigeria reality show rated 18 plus. Had romance, uh, yeah, kissed, cuddled with a single guy. Because she is married, it made a buzz. She came out and apologized. Before she even rendered that apology, the husband said, Oh, I'm cool with her. There's no cause for alarm. But no! The online society judges holier than thou of the Nigeria atmosphere refused to let her go. You all like lashed onto her tail onto her heart you drag her you throw her on twitter you throw her on instagram no breathing space did she make a vow of fidelity to you people the man she made a vow of fidelity to told you guys he is fine he is cool with her she reconciled with the husband she even rendered apology but no it's not enough because you guys love to see a woman crawl on her bellies you like to subdue a woman how did she <laughs> how did she cheat you throw the man a bit. Let him be. Now focus on the woman. As usual. How did she? How did she he, cheat when she's in marriage? Kissed? Cuddled? When she's in marriage? All the married men cheating. Who is dragging and trolling them to death? If this lady commits suicide, is it going to make you better? Is it going to better Nigeria's economy? What good would we have death, her depression, do to you? Did she cheat with your body? Now you should promise fidelity. Did she make vow to you? What is you people's problem? Because you like to subdue a woman. She should not even try that thing that the rest of you do. It, it, it is worse. It is disgusting looking at the women get on this wagon. People that do the most, that have done the worst, are even blabbing. They are ranting. Do not go and face your lives. Yes, you have a, a, some right to, you know, criticize because she did it in the public space. How long? Have you not criticized enough? Huh? This one dollar equals to almost 700 naira. You know, reach your end. You never criticize enough. We don't hear your voice. Damn it. Please, let her be. Moving on to the next one. Still about married people here. 
this this is funny guys let me read this pastor refuses to wed couple for hugging in pre-wedding photo according to a wedding guest the pastor took offense with the couple's photo because the couple were hugging in the photo and refused to wed them he refused to wed them because <laughs> the couple and their parents had to spend two hours begging the pastor before he reluctantly agreed to wed them on the condition that the cover of the brochure will be removed the wedding eventually took place at noon and guests were given a wedding program without the front and back cover i'm just thinking after traditional wedding right why do we feel the need to do a white wedding why why white wedding i, I still don't understand they call this traditional wedding why do we have to do white wedding what is white wedding actually like what is white wedding i mean this is a borrowed practice why is it so important in fact this is more important than traditional wedding why i'm just i'm trying to understand i know some people say you know for religion you know for pastors to come and bless it and and, and bless okay after the bless we've seen divorce we've seen even the white that brought it to africa they has like the most divorce rate right so what is, I, I don't understand the blessing we keep talking about like is it about fine if it's religion or something that shouldn't remove the tradition there now when i mean tradition i'm not talking about like trying to call ogun or shango or something right even in traditional wedding a pastor can come and pray and do that why do we feel that it is important for us to like go to church and you can just call a pastor in your traditional wedding bless both of you the marriage is what is more important that's my thought you can say i'm being too african but whatever moving on to the next one here politics by the way here we have tolu ogunlesi special assistant to the president on new media or digi digital slash new media yeah this guy was asked a simple a very simple and straightforward question it seemed difficult for him and he was all over the place beating around the bush <laughs> very simple question tolu ogunlesi is articulate right very good brilliant guy but do you know why it's difficult for him because of his conscience guys <laughs> you know when you know the truth but bills have to be paid your family have to feed and also to protect your head you know and that's what tolu ogunlesi try to do in this video the question is did President Buhari ban Twitter because of a deleted tweet or not? That was the question. Important to the conversation, yeah. Let's go back to the beginning. Was Twitter suspended in Nigeria because yeah. it deleted a tweet by President Buhari? Um, you know, so it was, it, it's a, the, the context is a lot bigger than that. But of course, from a media point of view, you find that, you know, usually, and this is not just in Nigeria, there's often um, an event or, an, or, or something that happens that kind of, triggers something else but you know the context so the really trigger for this to be a larger one tolu the trigger for the suspension was because twitter deleted a tweet by president buhari which violated its terms of service um well so that's that's very debatable i do not um th that tweet um was not I, I i do not believe that that tweet violated the terms of service of twitter and it's of course uh, it leads us to the question of um uh, how does local content and local context um how is in Twitter fact you bring up without, context which um, is important because as a nigerian and anybody who's followed yeah, the look, context understands yes. that when you talk about people yeah. who misbehave will be treated in the language they understand that is an incitement to violence yeah. in their plain meaning that's why twitter no, took down no, that uh, that tweet no, because it was seen not. as inciting people to violence no no absolutely not um the the president spoke in his um, capacity as uh, the president of Nigeria, and it was a law enforcement message. Um, it is a law. I think I believe it's perfectly valid for the uh, president of Nigeria to speak and to say that um, people who are and there was a special. That's why I talk about context. It was a, it, it was contextual. It was specific. It was not a message to law-abiding Nigerians. It was a message to people who have chosen to inflict violence i guess it wasn't ready for that
Let us move straight to the next one. UAE has convicted six Nigerians over alleged funding of Boko Haram. Look at the list. Six people. Ten years, ten years, ten years, and one, two live. Okay, that's good news. Our government, will they do anything even though they have all the names of the suspects? They wouldn't. Okay, guys, let us move straight to the next one. Here is a video. Someone says here, this house is 750,000 Naira, I believe. Uh, my eyes saw things today. God, I beg. Uh, and somebody, and the question was, Lagosians, would you rent this apartment for 750K? Seriously, I don't understand. This is a normal thing in Lagos. Like, Lagos is not cheap. So, most part of Lagos, they are not cheap. I don't know what makes people think that Nigeria is cheap. This It's not cheap. It's expensive. I'm talking about mainland and island. Lekki, yes. Houses are expensive. VI, you know. Even mainland, the houses are expensive. 750K. I've seen houses of like 800 and 850K. That's even not as big as this. You know, some part of Lagos, yeah, it's, it's that expensive, trust me. Moving on to the next news, 55-year-old woman arrested for buying twins in Emo after faking pregnancy. Wow. <sighs> the, um, the desperation is crazy. Wow. Well, she's been caught. So she faked the pregnancy for nine months and bought twins. Hey. <laughs> oh, wow. I saw in the comment section some people saying, as long as she's going to take care of the kids, blah, blah, blah. She committed a crime, people. It's not about whether, stop trying to bring emotions into this. She committed a crime. That's it. And it's not like I'm being harsh or, or no. I, it's just the fact, right? It's just the fact. Somebody, I saw another comment saying, oh, you know, it's hard to, um, adoption um, is hard in Nigeria to adopt a child. Like you have to sp spend so much money and time sometimes it takes you three years to adopt a child so blah 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 like don't justify anything guys don't <laughs> it's wrong is wrong but yeah i understand me I, i'm guilty of that too you know including emotions and things like that but yeah moving on to the next news here we've got good news for those suffering sickle cell anemia we've got good news for them here they said the first treatment for sickle cell disease in over 20 years will be rolled out to thousands of patients and this is not a cure just a, a, a treatment you know just to subside the pain or reduce the pain let's watch the NHS is delighted to be able to make um, the first drug, this revolutionary drug in 20 years, um, available for the treatment um, of this extremely painful condition um, to people across the country. And over the next three years, 5,000 people will be able to benefit from this treatment and will be able to reduce attendance in accident and emergency by 40%. Because of course, when people are in such extreme pain, they have no alternative oftentimes other than to go to a and &E. We're going to have, you know, 10 specialist centers across the country, 23 expert teams that will be available 24 hours of the day for people to be able to access treatment. And certainly we're looking to making this available by the end of this year. It's truly extraordinary in our efforts to tackle health inequalities, given the disproportionate impact of this condition um, on the populations that I've just been describing. Okay, guys, that is where I'm going to hold it. Today's question, what type of business can you start with 500K? Now, guys, I'm serious about this uh, because um, someone really needs help. This question, they have the money in the account and they sent me this to ask you guys. 
they will be in the comment section below they'll just you know go through the minor comment they don't have to comment but this will help yeah just help answer the question and let's see if that helps okay thank you so much leave a like before you go at least come on you know and subscribe if you're yet to do so thank you once again we'll see you next time peace